Now we are going to see that is a closed shape that does not cross itself is a simple closed curve. So now we are going to see closed shapes, a closed shapes that does not cross itself. So is a simple closed curve. Next one is some closed shapes are formed only with the straight lines. They are called polygons. So I'll repeat once again. Now we are going to discuss about a closed shape, a closed shapes that does not cross itself. It is not a it will not come in cross line. Next, that is not cross itself. That is not cross itself. It's a simple closed curve. And also, it is a simple closed curve. So, it is not like a um, cross itself. A closed shapes that does not cross itself. It is not comes in a cross line. And also, it is like a simple closed curve. That is the meaning. And some closed shapes are formed only with straight lines. So some closed, sh uh, closed shapes are formed only with the straight lines. They are called polygons. So, what is this? This is a what? Um, some, uh, some closed shapes. Th these are the examples. Sorry. These are the example of closed shapes. So, these are called as polygons because these shapes are formed only with a straight line. I'll repeat once again, a closed shapes that does not cross itself. So generally the closed shape that does not, that does not come under in cross. Okay. And is a simple closed curve. It is a simple closed curve also. Some closed shapes are formed only with the straight lines. They are called what polygons. So these are the closed shapes. So they are formed with a straight line. So these are called as what polygons. Otherwise they are called as polygons. So this is the what? triangle it is also a kind of a trapezium shape and one is a rectangle and this is a what it is also a triangle but it is an upside uh, upside down it's like a cone shape if you draw what it's a if, if you draw like this it's like a what uh, ice cream it's like a cone okay so they are not polygons which are not polygons these types are not polygons because generally uh, some closed shapes are formed only with a straight line so it is not a straight line so this is a what horizontal line but it is a what half circle it is like a hemisphere so it is not comes under in polygon and this is also this is a it is not it is uh, um, this polygon it is not like it is not formed with a straight line this this is not a polygon why it is not a polygon because it is not formed with straight line it is there uh, this polygon uh, this is this is not a polygon so because this uh, shape it is uh, it is like a what uh, a oval shape and also it is a big oval shape and also a small oval shape combined together it's form like a uh, figure it's form like a uh, or it's form like a shape it's form like a um, a new shape okay so this is not a polygon because why it is not a polygon generally polygon means the polygon means what we are going to say polygon means it is a what a closed uh, curved that is it's a closed shapes not curved closed shapes and also it is formed with only straight line so it is not on the it does not cross itself it does not cross itself and also it is formed only with the straight line it is formed only with the straight lines they are called polygons once again i'll repeat a closed shapes that does not cross it itself it is a simple closed curve so these are the simple closed curve and also it is not cross itself a closed shapes are formed only with straight line generally a closed shapes formed only with straight line that is called what is a polygon closed shapes are formed only with straight line it is not a curved line so all the uh, all the whatever the shapes uh, comes under in polygons so it is formed only with a straight lines and also it is a closed shape so these are called as polygons for example i have told you it's a triangle it is like a trapezium and also it's a rectangle and it's a what it is also uh, it is a triangle shape but it comes under in what upside down and if you draw a uh, half circle it comes like a uh, what cone shape and also these two are not polygons why it is not a polygons because it is not formed in a straight line so these two diagrams and these two um, what figure are not formed in straight line that is what these are not polygons or they are not polygons and types of polygon now we are going to see types of polygon a polygon is named according to the number of side it has a polygon with three line segment is called as a triangle so it's it is a it is formed with straight lines i've told you polygon means it is formed only with straight line it is not a curved line 
so uh, now we are going to see the types of polygon the first one is a triangle it has three sides and three uh, that means three straight lines okay three uh, it is formed by three straight lines a triangle it has three sides and also it is formed by three straight lines that is what it comes under in polygon it has three sides so it is called as a triangle it is also a triangle but it becomes an upside down so that is what it is an example of what it is an example of polygon the first type is triangle not only it is example it is a type of a polygon the first one is triangle next we are going to see quadrilateral quadrilateral means what is this the four line segment three line segment means it is called as a what it is it is it is called as a triangle if if the three lines only three lines formed uh, formed a segment means formed a figure it is called as a triangle and it is also a polygon polygon means formed only with straight lines uh, for example i told you triangle triangle it is a type of a polygon the first type of polygon type one its example is what triangle because it is formed with straight line it has three sides and it has formed with three straight line so that is called as a what a uh, triangle it is a, po a polygon example next one is a four line segment it is a three line segment triangle is a three line segment quadrilateral is a four line segment that means four straight lines are formed okay four straight lines are formed that is called as a quadrilateral for example it is a a quadrilateral example means we can call it as square and also rectangle rectangle means you know you have it has four sides and two lengths and two breadth square it has four sides all the sides are equal but these quadrilaterals a special quadrilateral what is this rectangle is a special quadrilateral and what square is a what special quadrilateral now we are going to see the other two types